Hey guys, my name is Ethan, this is Cobra. welcome to the series where I teach you how to build a Discord or Pi music bot for your server. Today we are talking about pausing and resuming playback, so we're going to be implementing a pause function or a pause command where we can uh, stop the music playback and a resume command where we can actually resume it. We're also probably going to be adding a stop in there as well, just to completely stop all the music um, too. So. We are going to come up to our play command here and we are going to first implement the pause. Um, so, uh, commands dot command as always, name equals pause, <coughs> async def pause command self context and we don't need anything else inside of that. So we need the player self dot get player ctx, we know how all this works. Uh, and we can first check if the player is already paused. So we can do player dot is or if player dot is paused, and then we can raise um, player is already paused, which we need to define up the top. So we're going to go up here, and we are going to do uh, class player is already paused commands dot command error pass of course. As always, if you if you want to do the error handling slightly differently, you're more than welcome to. I'm just doing it like this to show it off, um, <clears throat> or show off that this is a way that you can do it. Um, so pretty much all there is left to do is set pause equals true. Now there isn't just a player dot pause and player dot resume. It is a player dot set pause. So player dot set pause true will pause the player, then set pause false will actually resume it which is something to keep in mind. Um, so ctx to send play, oh, uh, just going to send a message saying playback paused. And with our error handling it's pretty darn simple. All we've got to do is pause uh, command error self context exception is instead, we've done this a million times before, so if it's, if he says that making a mistake. Um, <clears throat> If so, if our player is already paused, we want to just send a message saying play playback is already paused, like so. And uh, that is pretty much our pause command. However, we don't currently have a way to resume our playback, so we are going to uh, do that. However, as I said in the last episode, we are not actually going to make a resume command. You can if you want to, if you pref if you prefer to do that. Then it's pretty much just this, um, but uh, set this as a not and set this to false, and then you're basically good to go. Uh, we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to be doing it in the play command. So the play command, if you don't pass any arguments, will actually resume the playback. Um, <clears throat> so if our query is none, then we can uh, presume that we want to resume the playback. So we can do if player dot is, uh, oh sorry, uh, player dot q dot is empty and then we want to raise our q is empty our, our favorite error that is around so much um, otherwise simply await uh, player dot set pause uh, false actually I was saying with the resume command you probably do want to um, actually check if the q is empty and then await ctx.send uh, playback resumed actually something I forgot to do in the plan that I'm going to do as well uh, if player is, if uh, not player dot is paused raise player uh, is already playing I guess <laughs> sure why not um, so we have these two checks. So first we check to see if the queue is actually empty. Then we check to see if the player is paused at all. I don't know which one should go first, really. I guess this one should go first. Um, I guess it doesn't really matter that much. Uh, we're going to come up to the top and we're pretty much... I'm going to just click copy paste this one because it's so similar. Um, and go two spaces down. I know for one of the errors I did actually forget to do that. I noticed that in editing and it really irked me, so I fixed that. Yay! <laughs> I am I am very Pepe heavy nowadays. 
Uh, despite being against some of the aspects of Pep 8 for quite a long time, I've actually come around and seeing that the experts probably do know what they're talking about after all. Um, so that should be fine, I am pretty sure, for our pause on our play. So we're going to make our stop as well. I uh, wasn't originally going to do that in this episode, but uh, I realised that I hadn't actually planned it. Um, I do have it in the actual notes. I just I just didn't assign this to an episode, so we're just going to do it now, because this episode is going to be pretty short regardless. And it seems related. So self uh, context player equals self dot get player uh, ctx. Then we're going to do player dot queue dot empty. So we're going to empty the queue, and then we're going to do our player dot stop. And there is a, a very good reason why we empty the queue. Um, and it will make a little bit more sense once we go into the next episode about skipping uh, songs and stuff. But essentially our await player.stop calls, where is it, uh, this event here. So if the player stops it actually attempts to advance the track. Um, and when we advance the track, so it turns out this queue is empty was important. Um, because if the queue is empty, which it will be after we do our q dot, what is it, q dot empty? Yeah, player dot q dot empty. Then it just passes, so it doesn't it doesn't try to play another song. It just it actually does stop. Um, so it is a bit of a weird back. <laughs> it's a bit of a weird backwards way of doing it. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, and plus if you if you're stopping the playback rather than pausing it, then realistically you probably don't want the queue anyway. So you could just empty it. Um, and then do we need, we don't actually need any error handling for our stop command at all. So that should be done now. So if you launch our terminal pi-3.8 launcher.py run and just pray it works I guess. <laughs> um, uh, so I'm just going to search this, I'm going to stick my headphone in so I can actually hear what's going on. We're going to get it to play, which it is doing. Um, so now we can pause. We have a playback pause. It, it kind of does say that playback pause before it actually pauses it. There's nothing really you can do about that. It does take a little while to actually engage the pause. If you pause again, we'll see the playback is already paused. If you play, playback resumed. Um, so we've actually integrated <coughs> our resume functionality into our play. Um, it's important to note that if you do queue another song via the play, it won't actually resume the playback. If you do want it to do that, I'm pretty sure you can just get away with... Um, oh, it's in the the, play, the add tracks. I guess you'd have to move stuff from inside the add tracks, like this start start playback thing. Um, there we go, <laughs> that's not the song uh, gone weird then. Um, yeah, there's not really any need to. Realistically speaking, you probably... If you can, I mean, as I said at the start of the series, I'm going for MP3 player emulation, so that wouldn't happen anyway, so it's fine. And then if we stop, it takes a while, but it gets there. Um, I think my internet is a bit on the on the on the fritz right now, so that might be why. And if we do a play again, um, the player is apparently already playing. Oh right, we don't actually want this pause check on here. <clears throat> Um, that is a very good point uh, because it's either it's either paused or not, and if it, if it's not paused and it assumes it's playing even if it's not, um, I think I don't know if there is actually an is playing. Is there an is playing? If player dot is is oh is playing? Oh, that might be it. Okay, we'll try we'll try this we'll try this. Um, player is already playing. I'll see if we can get some different results. Um, so I'm just going to copy paste this one because I can't be able to topple that out again. And then load it up. <laughs> and then stop it instantly. <laughs> and then in play. Q is empty. Oh, did we did we not add the... Oh yeah, so... Yeah, so we, we actually want the is playing rather than not is paused. I do apologise. Um, yeah, we do need some error handling on our play command now, and I did completely forget to implement that, so that is my bad entirely. Um, 
Um, I actually presumed that we already had some on here, but apparently not. Um, so async def play command error self ctx exception. Um, if is instance exception equals uh, player is already playing and then await ctx send um, uh, playback I guess uh, play uh, I guess or, already playing and I'm not really sure how to to, to to phrase that but whatever I'll just put already playing and to, to consistent this up I'll say already paused there we go to consistent this up well done brain uh, is instant uh, cue to make it more consistent is what I meant uh, and uh, no songs to play as the queue is empty. That works. Uh, so that should be all the error handling we need to do. Um, so again, just got to copy paste the same song once again because I really cannot be asked to 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 do some some hecking typing. So if you do play now, it should say yeah already. I thought it said already paying there for a second though. Already playing. Uh, if you do stop, how about stopped, play, uh, no songs to play as the queue is empty. So as you can see our queue is now empty, um, I guess pause, play about paused, oh that can kind of happen. I don't know, I don't, I don't really know if that would have any sort of effect on anything, but you could probably add another check in here to say, to, to, to check if the queue is empty. I'm going to do that just for consistency's sake. Um, or do we really want maybe, I don't know, maybe we want not play is playing, potentially hmm, that's an interesting one you know what, I'll actually try it and see, oh my god, if I hit if I actually hit the right buttons for once and see if it actually um, we'll just leave the error name, it's the same I can't be able to change it on the video. If if I if, if this does work, I'll change it for the the repo for it so it makes more sense. Um, I guess we'll just do this song again because <laughs> why not? Seems we've already got in a pace buffer still, and then pause. Put pause play. Already playing. Ah. Yeah. Okay. So. It does get a bit confused, so I'm just gonna leave. I'm just gonna leave it as is, um, unless actually, does it? Is it a problem if? Hang on. I gotta do all this crap again. So pause, play, but pause, play. Already playing. Ah, oh, that actually causes a problem with this. So you actually don't want this, I suppose. Potentially, I don't know if there's a if there's a good way around this. Um, I guess if I guess if there's something in the queue, play it. Otherwise, don't. There's quite a good mentality to have around this by the looks of things. I don't know. I guess you don't need this play as already playing. I mean, it worked without an end of test code, so I mean, you can experiment with that if you want. See if you can get some sort of extra implementation out of those out of those properties. But I'm not going to bother because this. Uh, does work well enough so it's good enough for me but yeah as always if you have any questions then feel free to leave them in the comments or you can join the discord server using the link in the description while you're in the description i would recommend that you take a look at my other social links so if you want to if you want to follow me on twitter or facebook or if you want to check out my library channel you can do that from there uh, but yeah, that's going to bring us to the end of the video. If you liked it, say hello down below. If you really liked it, consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell so you don't miss our future uploads. And if you really, really liked it, then consider following me on Patreon. Of course, you don't have to, but a really cool thing of you to do. If you don't mind, I'll like to thank my super patrons, Darkie and Jackster. And I will see you next time where we talk about uh, skipping and going back tracks. So we are going to be essentially uh, navigating through the queue in the next episode I suppose so I'll see you for that